2015 and a half Rockwood Mini Light Model 1905 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, you can instantly tell this is a 2015 and a half model by the fact that it is equipped with the sapphire package. That is what is giving us the cool skin color, the, the frameless bonded windows, the nice aluminum wheels. Um, that is a, a trio of options that goes together in that package to really give this thing just a cosmetic edge over anything else in its class. It has uh, like a, almost like a vanilla colored skin. I like the, uh, the milk chocolate um, diamond plate down here, which is very nice and complimentary. And they accent it well all together with that nice black trim. It just really defines and outlines this thing as something very sharp and desirable. Um, you know, in the smaller, lightweight category, there's a lot of stuff featuring a lot of cutthroat construction, you know. Most most travel trailers with fiberglass skin, you can walk up to the outside and thump on them and they're nice and solid. But walk up to the front wall with a rockwood, it's laminated. Walk up to the rear wall and thump on it, laminated. The ceiling, the floor, every single thing of this is fully vacuum laminated, aluminum framed. Uh, you see that your bathroom vent has the fantastic cover already pre-installed on it from Rockwood. These are built better to last longer. Um, this rides on a torsion axle, not a leaf spring, so you're going to get better towing experience with this. You know, stuff like that adds up. It might be a dollar more, but you get more for it. You know, you can justify what you're getting out of this thing. Um, you see that on this 19-foot trailer, you have about an 18-foot power awning, pretty much the biggest you possibly could have. Um, the uh, you know push of a button, your awning runs in and out. So uh, you know if you get caught and just the wind kicks up, the rain kicks up, you're not expecting it. It starts raining in the middle of the night. You don't have to get up in your pajamas, whatever you happen to wear. Maybe get dressed, go outside in the rain, get blasted by the weather, wrestle with the manual awning in high winds. With this, you can wake up, push one button inside your camper directly next to your bed, and uh, you know shut your awning up in 30 seconds. Go back to bed bone dry. Um, cool thing on this with the sapphire package, the frameless bonded windows here, your seal is underneath the window pane. That's going to help keep the uh, UV rays from uh, prematurely deteriorating your, your um, window seals. Now uh, this comes standard with an RVQ grill, but notice how long this rail is. Rockwood Campers, uh, when you get the grill, it also comes with like a little uh, resin top work table here, not a press board work table like you see on a lot of um, campers. So you can put the table on each side, you can flip your burger, have a place to set your spatula. Doesn't matter if you're right or left handed, you can move it wherever you want. Now, um, the cool thing there on that resin top, the reason they went to that instead of press board, because obviously with press board you can save some money, but when it's, uh, if it mists outside, if it's uh, humid like it is today, you can't tell from this video, but it's sticky out here today. That moisture seeps into that tea molding in those little uh, press board countertops and just really wrecks them. It causes them to swell and deteriorate. You have an indoor, outdoor TV. The entire TV on the swing arm lifts right up, mounts indoors and outdoors. You can turn it to wherever you want on your patio here. Um, you're also going to see fun things like this on a Rockwood. Their doors are held open via a little gas strut at the bottom there. They do that so that the door doesn't cover up this window and you maintain all of your light and visibility in the coach. And in case you're wondering how easy this is, check this out with just one hand right here on video. Lift the TV up, walk it inside, then mount it on the matching bracket right here. Oops, got to turn the TV a little bit. There you go. Not bad for one hand. There you go. I'm going to shut this door so that the light doesn't play with the camera. Now this is kind of what I was talking about. Because the TV is on the swing arm, you can sit right here on your sofa, kick back. You can turn the TV right toward the primary seating space. Then, when you're traveling, you can simply push the TV back into place. No worries. All-in-one stereo system here. AM, FM, CD, DVD system. It's also Bluetooth enabled. It does everything. You have uh, extra audio and video inputs, including an HDMI input and USB, so that you could basically hook anything up to this. It does essentially everything. Right down here, you have uh, a couple cool features. All within reach of the bed is what's awesome, is you have a charging station here so that your, all your phones and tablets and everything can stay juiced up. And you have a centralized control center, so your awning, your water heater, your lights, everything's controlled right from here. What's neat is it's right next to the door. 
You don't have to walk in and track dirt into your camper. You can pop that door open, play with your bells and whistles, go back outside. Um, uh, kind of a cool thing. Now, real quick, before I get any further, this interior pattern, by the way, is called Willow, I believe. Um, the interior color schemes are new for 2015 and a half. That's another reason why I did this video. I don't normally reshoot video like this, but there's a lot of updates. So um, the uh, we sell a lot of this floor plan. So if the pictures look a little bit different from the video here, you know why. The pictures generally represent the actual coach. This is here just to kind of show you how it's laid out. So during the day, you have a little um, a couple's dinette right here. And uh, at night, you can have a single bunk above. What's neat is rockwood bunks come with the nice ladder, so you don't have to throw the kids up there. Now, during the day when you don't need it, folds up, out of the way, so you just have a normal dining space. Um, the entire ceiling in this trailer uh, is, one, it's fully laminated. Two, it's domed, uh, has a domed interior. Now, where this is different from a lot of lightweights is that this is a full true travel trail. It is eight foot wide. Um, it does have a normal full height of a Rockwood Mini Light. Most um, single axle travel trailers in lightweight classes, they're very short interior height. Um, they're, they're not going to feature the lamination levels that this coach features. They're not going to feature the higher end kitchen facilities like the glass top um, cover on your cooktop here. It's extra nice things like that, like full, um, you know, hardwood doors on your cabinetry. You don't get that in a, in a little compact lightweight like this. You don't get standard LED lighting. It's stuff like this. That's why Rockwood's the number one selling lightweight uh, for many consecutive years now. I, I lost track of how many years it even is. Um, you know, you'll you'll get more for with your purchase in a Rockwood. Um, moving back here, I do like that you do have this extra storage space above the refrigerator right here. Anytime, especially in small campers, every ounce of storage is so super critical. Um, this is a comfortable rear bath here. You do have plenty of room to actually get dressed in this bathroom. You can use this toilet without your knees bashing into countertops and things. Uh, extra huge linen cabinet back here. You can see how big and deep that is. So that's where you can keep extra blankets. And it actually does, you see, go back around into this area as well. Now, another thing you don't generally find on smaller lightweights is the, the full-size Creative Breeze fan. And again, I mentioned with that roof vent cover pre-installed by Rockwood, you can have those things installed aftermarket. That's not hard. They're about 50 bucks a piece. But the difference is, who guarantees them? Rockwood guarantees their own work. They're putting their own money and warranty on the line here. They have a, they're building something you can be proud of and something that they're proud to represent. You also see a skylight and a power vent fan here in the bathroom instead of only one or the other. And again, in lightweight trailers, a shower wall backer is not a common thing. That will help keep your wall paneling from getting water damage due to water spraying off your body um, while you bathe. Now, this is the real calling card of this floor plan, the front uh, conversion between a front living room and Murphy bed. Uh, so during the day, you have, you know, just a normal front sofa where you can sit and watch TV and... You know, if it's rainy, you, you get out, you you know, you can get away from the rain a little bit. But with one hand, here's what you can do with this. That simply jackknifes down. All you do is grab the bed. It has a pair of gas struts to assist. And look at that. In less than, what, five seconds with one hand operating the bed and one hand on a camera, I just converted this from a front living room to a full front walk-around queen bed. How cool is that? It's two floor plans in one. So you don't have to get a trailer that's eight, nine feet longer just to get a walk around bed. You can get it in this 19 foot coach, but still have a comfortable living room during the day. And another 15 and a half update is the extra ceiling vent above the bed here, just to let more cross ventilation through. You'll see this has a lot of big windows. Every window in this thing opens up for cross ventilation so you can get some really good airflow in here. Give us a call to learn even more, 800-256. 5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.